I'm Sarah Backhouse for Hub Culture, reporting from the Governor's Global Climate Summit. I'm joined by Professor Tom Turrentine. Welcome, Tom. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, tell me about your collaboration with BMW that you do here at UC Davis. Well, BMW and I have been working together on a project uh, studying their Mini E drivers to understand how they respond to that electric vehicle that the BMW has developed. And so during the last year, we've been doing a lot of survey and interview work with the BMW drivers, uh, talking to them at their homes about how it, what it's like to use the Mini E. And what were your findings? Well, people have liked the vehicle a lot. Of course, it's a, it's a sporty vehicle, and they really in love they love driving that car. It has a lot of power, um, and so it's a lot of fun. And uh, but also, it has it has a, about 100 miles of electric range. And one of the things we're looking at is whether that is sufficient for people's lifestyles. And uh, and I think the many drivers have told us that they they can integrate that well with their lifestyles, and so it's working very well for them. Now you're an anthropologist, yes. so it's fascinating. Tell me about how your work in transportation and vehicles in particular. Well, an anthropologist, we're very interested in lifestyles and in culture. And of course, uh, our culture is really shaped around the automobile a lot now. So we're to understand people's mobility and their preferences for vehicles and what they want in the future, we have to understand a lot about culture. So as an anthropologist, I teach my students, who a lot of them are engineers here, uh, how, how to be sensitive to to, to people's culture and, and ideas that, that they're carrying around around their vehicles. Now, electric cars has been a contentious issue. You know, they're, they're kind of back right. after 10 years in California yes. and probably 100 years in the States. Right. Are we ready to embrace the electric vehicle this time around? Well, I think some people are. I think it's, it, the vehicles have really improved over the last 20 years. When I first did research 20 years ago, the vehicles were not uh, really only not that good. The batteries were not ready, but 20 years later, uh, these vehicles have improved tremendously, and so it's an exciting time uh, to see them finally come into the market. And is America, being a big car driving nation, is it so important to crack it here and that will maybe set the stage for the rest of the world? Well, I think there's some parts that are important. For California, is really the most automotive lifestyle uh, area. People, a lot of people we talk to have two, three cars in their households, and they use cars for everything. And there's not very good public transit, so you have to use a car in California. Um, and and I think that for some of those reasons, electric vehicle actually fits better here than some areas. So we will uh, we will see some success in California. California certainly have had terrible air quality. And that set us up to understand the problems with automobiles. Uh, so we're more sensitive to all the problems. Tell me about UC Davis and its role in sustainability. It seems like it's a leader in the field. Can you elaborate? Well, the university has really come together around the issue of sustainability, and especially sustainability in energy. And here we're dealing with energy topics, with electricity. And we have to produce clean electricity. We also have to. Uh, come to some sustainability around automobiles because they use a lot of land, a lot of uh, materials, and a lot of uh, re our resources. So we have to understand if we're going to keep continue to use automobiles, how do we, how do we find that uh, sustainable point? And California is a good place to do that experiment. It's true. Now, California was a bit of an anomaly in these midterm elections. We, yeah. you know, it really showed the power of subnational governments to take a stand and say, no, we want to curb greenhouse gas emissions. Do you think it's very important that states like California take the lead on this issue of global warming? Well, much of this work has to be local. So it has to be done in a state. And we had a governor over the last four years who took a very strong stand on this issue. And hopefully, we'll get that a similar stand in the next four years. And it, much of the legislation, much of the efforts really have to be done at the state and local level. So yes, states have to take a stand. Wonderful. Well, Dr. Tom Turrentine, thank you very much for your time. Sure, thank you. Thanks.